Hello and welcome to this How Tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to create an amortization schedule in Excel 2016. So we have our annual rate, our number of payments in years, and our amount. So we'll have payment number one, and our payment here is going to equal PMT for payment. We want our rate, and then we want our number of payments, which is 11 over the course of 11 years, and we want our present value. So I'll close that off, and we want to go ahead and click in each one of these and hit F4, just like that. Click between B3, hit F4, and then we have that. And then for principal, we want this to equal PPMT for principal payment. There's our rate again, and hit F4, and this time we want our per, which is the one. And since we're going to be dragging all this down, we can leave that unanchored but we'll have these at the top anchored because we don't want those to change. We want that formula to keep referencing those. And for interest, we'll go IPMT for interest payment. We'll have our annual rate, and again we'll hit F4 to anchor that, and we won't hit F4 for the A7. We'll anchor that one, and we'll also anchor that one. And then finally, we have our balance. So this is going to equal our amount here, at least the first one here, and we're going to add that to a negative value, which is principal. So that's why we have an addition symbol there. It's adding a negative number. Principal is already negative. So then we'll take these, and we'll drag them down to 11 payments, and we can see that everything looks good there. And for balance, it's going to be a little different for the rest. So for the other ones, we'll start with the top balance, the one before it, as well as the principal, and we'll drag that down, and you can see it ends with a hyphen, which is the accounting way of doing a zero. So we can switch that to currency if we want, and it'll just show up as zero dollars. We can change all of this to a currency value instead of accounting, and we can see slight changes there. We can also go ahead and switch that up if we wanted to, but I'll leave that as a parentheses negative accounting value. This has been a Hot Tech video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.